10 Most Stunning Places to Visit in New Zealand Hello and welcome to Travel and Migration Hub. Today we'll talk about the most stunning places in New Zealand. So let's get going. Number 10. Wanaka. Wanaka is one of those places in New Zealand that turned out to be one of the prettiest places you've ever visited. Located on the bank of the pristine Lake Wanaka, Wanaka City offers many great opportunities to enjoy the outdoors. From a stroll around the lake, to a full-on hiking adventure, to one of the prettiest viewpoints in New Zealand, Roy's Peak. For a nice hike to do in the afternoon, you can go hike up Mount Iron and check out its viewpoint over the city. From town, it sits around 45 minutes walk, and once you arrive at the top, you'll be rewarded with a beautiful 360-degree view of Wanaka and its surroundings. Number 9. Bay of Islands A three-hour drive or a 35-minute flight north of Auckland, the Bay of Islands encompasses 144 islands between Cape Brett and the Pereira Peninsula. It includes the boutique towns of Opua, Pahia, Russell, and Kerry Kerry. Paihia is the most popular tourist destination in the Bay of Islands because most of the best bars, restaurants, and cafes are located here. You'll love El Cafe on Kings Road for casual Mexican food, or if you want to spoil yourself truly, check out the famed Charlotte's Kitchen on the Wharf. For your caffeine fix, there are plenty of fantastic cafes in town, such as Let's Cafe on Williams Road and Third Wheel Coffee Co. on Marsden Road. Number 8. Nelson Nelson is wedged between the magnificent vista of Tasman Bay and a backdrop of the Tasman Mountains. There are plenty of things to do. The notoriously sunny weather in Nelson makes the activities here doable all year round. Whether you're looking for an outdoor experience or ways to relax on a rainy day, there are heaps of amazing things to do in Nelson. Moreover, Tahunanui Beach is a vast beach to enjoy, as there's plenty to explore on foot and room for everyone. You can enjoy the sunset there. If you fancy amping up your time in Tahunanui Beach, hire a stand-up paddleboard, try go-karting, or let the kids loose at Fun Park. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find the most vibrant place with a rich history in New Zealand. Number 7. Dunedin Located near the bottom of the South Island, Dunedin has access to incredible wildlife experiences, beautiful beaches, and fabulous food. Visit Dunedin for an opportunity to see the little blue penguins in the wild, also known as fairy penguins in Australia. The blue penguin colony in Dunedin is one of the largest in the country, offering a better chance of seeing multiple groups of penguins coming home after sunset. Not only this, but the coast is full of unique animals that you may not be able to find anywhere else in the world, such as kiwi birds, tuatara, South Island kaka, takahi, and more. Number 6. Auckland Situated on a narrow strip of land between the West Coast and Haraki Gulf, Auckland is arguably one of New Zealand's most geographically blessed cities. Within the city limits, there are around 50 volcanoes, dozens of islands, and countless beaches. It's also the country's most populous city, with over 1.6 million people calling it home. All those people and topography makes Auckland a place worthy of your time. To discover the best parts of the city, consider hiring a car and hitting some of the places where locals love hanging out. Number 5. Queenstown Queenstown is a natural playground providing an incredible backdrop for various sites and things to do for adventures of all persuasions. Each season has its unique vibe in Queenstown, and the great thing is that most activities can be accessed all year round. World renowned for its adventure, Queenstown is home to a massive choice of adrenaline activities, including jet boating, bungee jumping, whitewater rafting, skydiving, and even indoor thrills, all guaranteed to get your blood pumping. When the colder months arrive, 
Queenstown transforms into a world-class winter resort with four ski areas and a range of activities, bars, restaurants, and ways to relax and unwind. Number four, Napier. The North Island City is the largest in the sunny Hawks Bay region and the Art Deco City. Art Deco is a style taken from the 1920s with geometric patterns and symbols of freedom that was chosen to decorate the town after a devastating earthquake destroyed the city. You can learn about the history and stories behind Napier's architecture on a self-guided tour of the city. Interpretation panels can be found around town giving context to key sites. Either go for a walk and see what you discover or pick up a self-guided walk brochure from the Art Deco Trust Center or Napier EyeSight. Number three, Milford Sound Pio Pio Tahi. Milford Sound is a must visit destination with its towering mountain peaks, hundreds of waterfalls and unique wildlife. The most common activity in Milford Sound is a boat cruise. Almost every tourist in Milford Sound does one for a good reason. They're fantastic. There are lots of different boat cruises to choose between in Milford Sound. Some of the boats in Milford are very large and suited to hold hundreds of people, all while serving a buffet lunch. Number two, Wellington. Wellingtonians love brunch and the most popular place in the city is the Prefab Eatery on Jesse Street. They take their coffee very seriously here. It's all roasted in-house and they serve up one of the best brekkies in Wellington. This is a great place to try a proper Kiwi-style breakfast with beans, toast and eggs and get a strong cup of coffee before a day of exploring. Moreover, Cuba Street here is popular with locals and visitors alike. With various trendy shops, fun restaurants, and quirky bars, you'll no doubt find a few places to pop into. Number one, Christchurch. This city was once synonymous with gardens, green parks, and an easy meandering pace. But that all changed in February 2011, when a magnitude 6.3 earthquake took the lives of nearly 200 people and destroyed over half the buildings in the city center. The city is still green and beautiful, but a steely resilience, resourcefulness, and creativity have emerged in those who chose to stay in Christchurch. While there are still empty spaces where buildings used to be, the rebuild is vibrant. Take a look at the restaurant scene, and there's a palpable feeling of excitement and adventure as new pockets of creativity continue to pop up. Set on 358 hectares in Christchurch's Port Hills, the Christchurch's Adventure Park has magnificent views across the Canterbury Plains to the Southern Alps, plus excellent mountain biking trails and the longest and highest zip lines in the country. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to the channel so that you can take advantage of all travel updates.